a one-time hobby turns into a commercial success, and no one's got beef with his Made in Vermont products. Here's Alyssa Borden. Meet Pierre Mesa. I started making elk jerky when I was 10 in Telluride, Colorado is where I grew up, and I just love jerky. His passion for making the snack never dried out. That's why he opened up Vermont's Farmhouse Jerky Company back in 2013. This former chef and culinary instructor was looking for his cure to a stressful daily grind. Got out of the chefing business because it was just so much work, uh, came over to Vermont to just try to get out of the rat race. He started bartending in Stowe while making jerky on the side as a hobby, but it got so big he either had to go commercial with his operation or quit it. He decided to beef it up. I'm trying to create a company that is not only good to the environment, but I use local product and uh, I work with local people. Mesa sources his beef from a farm in Grand Isle and sources everything else locally whenever possible to create his all-natural, gluten-free, no MSG flavors. Maple barbecue, maple whiskey, carne asada, ghost pepper, and then I did a ghost pepper Korean barbecue, and I did a lemon pepper, and I just kept going and going with flavors. Beef jerky, turkey jerky, venison jerky, you name it. They're all made with the help of his longtime partner, Laura Bianchi. It is a adventure that, you know, came out of nowhere, but it has been a pleasure. And that includes one for a special family member named Allie. Back in August, my niece Allie uh, was in a mountain bike accident, broke her neck, and was paralyzed from the neck down. They say proceeds from this special flavor help Allie pay for rehab. Orange, amber honey, and ginger, a combo of her flavors. That's why she came up with Orange Sunrise. She sees tomorrow as her bright future. Sweet or savory, beef or turkey, they have bites for everyone, even those who might not be perky for jerky. I have a maple bacon jerky caramel popcorn with peanuts, sea salt, and chili. All of these snacks are sold at fairs around the country, online, in some stores, and out of this small but mighty shop with flavors you can only find in Vermont. For the Channel 3 News, I'm Alyssa Borden, made in Essex Junction, Vermont.